Hi, and thank you for coming back to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte. Now today, I'm gonna to tell you about a book that I wrote with uh, Seema Hyder of Ottawa, Canada, as the illustrator. In Will Evie Ever Lay an Egg? A child is already raising four chicks when another chick, Evie, comes to join the flock. The child cares for them, and they all grow up to become chickens. The other chickens excitedly start laying eggs and celebrating, but Evie is smaller. She's sad that she's not laying eggs with the rest of her flock. As the other chickens celebrate, Evie hides in a rhododendron bush, behind the chicken coop, and under the porch. She's clearly sad. She comes to the screen door to look for her child, who night after night cuddles her, encourages her, speaks nicely to her, the child understands her sadness. Look at these sweet illustrations by illustrator Seema Hyder. Each chicken is a character and uh, that there are amusing details that you can point out as you read the book to your child again and again. And of course, Evie does eventually lay a beautiful blue-green egg. Let me find that picture for you. She lays a beautiful blue-green egg. Encouragement and empathy are important social skills for children to learn. And many children are learning that chickens can be interesting and useful pets as more people are beginning to raise backyard chickens. Each of the chickens in the flock is a different chicken breed. So there are different colors when they're chicks and chickens, and they lay different color of eggs. Evie is an Easter egger. They can lay blue-green, blue or pink eggs. And there's a page of information at the end of the book about chicken breeds. You can buy Will Evie Ever Lay an Egg by Michelle Marcotte, illustrated by Seema Hyder, through bookshop.org to support your local bookstore, or uh, from my website, michellemarcottebooks.com, or on the Amazon link I've placed below in this comment section. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe to Great Books for Kids, illustrated, uh, Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte. Bye-bye.